Hi folks, Anders here, and today we have another review. Um, I can't see the camera, it's really confusing today because I'm using my new LG phone to do some 4K footage. Right, so a few months ago I did a review of um, this little thing, which is the XS um, X series tripod. Um, I can't remember the actual title of it. Um, I really, really like this and I've used this quite a lot. Um, this was $2.99 from Parent Stretcher. Um, I like the colour. Uh, I like the, it comes with a, a carabiner on it and it's got a standard tripod mount on there and a tripod mount on there. It's very sturdy, etc, etc. Um, these retail in Currys for about £29, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, Pound Stretcher if you've got one near you, too nice to know. However, I went to Pound Stretcher the other day and I do this one. So this is, you know on the top of the box, it's the last one. So this one is the big U-shot telescopic pole. Whereas this one only extends out to about 50 centimetres. This one extends out more. Again, Pound Stretcher, 2 99 But also got some selfie stick ones. With Bluetooth remote, I might go back and get one of those actually. Um, but yeah, so let's give this an open and see what it looks like. So, again, same spec as the last one. Um, it is well, 140 grams, minimum length 290 mil, maximum length 940, maximum camera load 3 kilograms. Um, they are made for water and underwater use. Uh, it says here, we make use shot to handle any conditions, rinse with fresh water after salt water use. Um, it does say it there. So let's give it an open and see what it looks like. You know, the packaging was damaged on the top, but it was the last one in fact they got in store. So anyway, right, so it comes with, what have we got? We have another little carabiner, the actual tripod itself. It's a little, yes there is. Handy dandy little strap as well, probably never ever used. Right, um, so exactly the same build quality as the other one. Um, I don't know which colour I like. Uh, yeah, black kind of blends in, I kind of like the blue, it's kind of funky. Do like that colour. So, yeah, so these are supposed to extend out to 940 mil, which is that, and yes, it does. Can you see that? Um, yeah, it is. It's really lightweight, but it's rigid as well. It's nice and solid. You know, if you put a camera on the top of it, yeah, we've got the camera to hand. What have I got? Ah, here we are. There's always a camera somewhere here, let's face it. So if I stick it on my QX10, yeah, it's pretty solid. I mean, the QX10 is really lightweight anyway, but that's pretty solid actually. Um, it's kind of nicely balanced. I mean, yes, there's obviously going to be more weight on the actual camera end anyway. But I'm actually thinking of using this one for um, my <coughs> for this my little 360 cam because the idea behind it is. Can do that and that and then bear with me one second okay so if i get my little man pixel and it's so when i want to do some 360 photography I can do that. And that is a nice, decent waist height because when I've been doing 360 footage at the moment, I've usually just had it on the floor. But as you can see, that kind of quite nicely raises it up to waist height. Like so which would make for some better stuff. It also means if you're raising it like that, um, that you get less of this in shot because the way that the 360 cameras work. So yeah, so that's the primary reason why I've got the longer one. 
just so as I can really do kind of footage like that. Uh, I might use another little stand because the Manfrotto one doesn't quite work on the bottom, but yeah. So, 2 99 for, I mean, yes, it's a glorified selfish stick, let's face it, but it's solid aluminium, it's lightweight, but it is really, really sturdy. And I just love the way that you click, 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 click and lock. And I've done that quite a lot with my other one, and it's still, you know, I've had this for a few months. I have used it quite a lot, and it does lovely lock in place quite nicely. You know, all the mounts are nice and sturdy on it still, and that's after a few months. And I assume this will be exactly the same, it's just that it's a longer version. So, on that note, would I recommend this as a tripod? Apps, well, not a tripod, as a monopod, um, selfie stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, big shot telescopic pole for action compact cameras. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you have a pound stretcher near you, go and see if you can get some of these. Like I say, two ninety nine each for the shorter one and the long one, and they've got some selfie sticks as well. They retail, like say, on Curry's uh, for I think twenty five pound, twenty nine pounds, something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, I'll have a look see if they're on Amazon as well. And if there is, I'll put the link in below because. I get affiliate program stuff for it. So if you actually go and buy one from Amazon, you can't buy one anywhere else. I get a percentage of it, which is always quite nice. Um, yeah, I like this. It's a nice little thing. So that's it. It's a lovely day. I'm going outside today. I'm going to have a day outside. We're going to do some stuff in the garden. I'm going to go shopping for a new telly. 4K, boy. Um, yeah, I've got a few days off. Um, and I'm going to try and actually have them off, off for once. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. But yeah, pound stretcher, two ninety nine. Go get pound stretcher, two ninety nine. Definitely go get these. Are awesome. I really, as lightweight but quite sturdy camera poles, these are fabulous. I would definitely recommend them. They do get the thumbs up from Anders. Right, that's it. I'm going to stop. Thanks for watching. I'm going to upload this right now.